Welcome back, guys. So, I wanted to talk about something today, and that's about the new abbreviated subscriber counts. This update came out uh, last week, and no one has actually liked the update because now we can't see our subscriber counts go up because the life count websites aren't working, unfortunately. And I don't know why it affected that, but some people can't actually find their exact subscriber count for their channel. But I did figure out a way, and it's less accurate than the live counts, but it still works out at least. Alright, so now I'm showing you uh, PewDiePie's subscriber count. It only says 101 million, but it's actually supposed to show the exact uh, count, like I said before. Here's a live counts website. It's called livecounts.net. And... It shows that I have 9,810, while I actually have maybe 9,817. And all of these that I'm showing right now are all, they're all going to say that I have 9,810. It's very annoying not being able to see that number in the ones digit not go up every two seconds anymore. It's very upsetting to me because I'm about to hit 10,000 subscribers and I, was, I wanted to live stream it. And now I can't see myself going from 99.99 to 10,000. So, But you know, it's not the biggest problem. This live stream is going on, and I don't even know the, if the person who was turning on this live stream even noticed that this happened. Because now literally nothing is, happen is happening. The only thing that's changing is the like button count. If you go into YouTube Studio, though, uh, I'm in the mobile version of YouTube Studio, and you can actually see on the top that it says I have 9,822 subscribers, while in the live count, I would say I have 9,820. So it would show the ones digit, the and it would show the actual count instead of it being abbreviated or showing a zero instead. So it's it's not the most accurate, but at least you could still see your exact count, and that's what makes me feel satisfied. So I think one of the reasons why YouTube did this is because there was a lot of drama going around with uh, people doing a subscriber count battle with each other there would be uh, one subscriber count and then there would be another one and people would be battling battling it out like let's say jacksepticeye versus ninja they both have like 22 million subscribers or something and they would see who can gain subscribers uh faster and everyone would just like doing that and for some reason youtube didn't like that so they stopped and it was especially a big issue with tati versus james charles and pewdiepie versus t-series apparently so that's why YouTube wanted to stop it. And I could see why it's bad, but it's still kind of fun. But, you know, I guess that it is just what it is. And hopefully they can change it up a little bit because it, I would like to see my own subscriber count in the websites again. But you guys can leave your opinions down below in the comments. I'll like read them. And hopefully YouTube can revert it in some way. And I heard that they were going to be abbreviating view counts also, like the amount, the total amount of views that everyone has on their channel, which is also another bad thing. But hopefully it all goes well. But yeah, other than that, I think that's all I've got for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and got some, I guess, good information here. If you're new to the channel, uh, then I would appreciate for you to subscribe or leave a like on the video. Other than that, have a great rest of your day and... A uh, new Life of a Shih Tzu episode coming soon, so if you're excited for that, then yeah, let me know. See you guys soon.